When you want to assess risks in the food chain, you first need to learn some basic principles. These help to make sure that risk assessment is done in a similar way around the world. First of all, you should be aware of the difference between a hazard and a risk. The terms hazard and risk are often used interchangeably, but their meanings are very different. If you want to understand health risks associated with food, you need to understand the difference between a hazard and a risk. A hazard is defined as anything that has the potential to cause harm. This can, for example, be a dangerous animal such as a lion. It can be a hole in the street. It can be a car. Or it can be a volcano. It can also be a toxic chemical in your food or a bacteria. Every day, you are surrounded by a large number of hazards. Fortunately, most of these hazards do not pose a risk to your health. A risk is defined as the chance or probability that a person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect if exposed to a hazard. In other words, a hazard can only become a risk when there is exposure to that hazard. The lion only becomes a risk if it is able to reach you and harm you. The hole in the street only becomes a risk if it is not visible and you fall into it. The car only becomes a risk when it is on the street where you are walking. The volcano only becomes a risk if you are close to it when it erupts. The toxic chemical can only be a risk to your health when you consume the food in such an amount that the toxic chemical causes a problem. Clostridium botulinum bacteria in food only pose a risk to your health if they get the chance to grow to high numbers and start producing the botulinum toxin. Many of the hazards by which you are surrounded every day do not pose a risk since we are not exposed to these hazards. In this course, we are interested in hazards and risks related to food. We focus on hazards and risks of chemical and microbiological nature. A microbiological hazard in food can be the Salmonella bacterium, a tapeworm, norovirus, fungi that produce toxins. A chemical hazard in food can be a pesticide that is present on your apple, a natural toxin present in a food supplement, a cancer-inducing chemical formed when preparing your food on the barbecue, an artificial colour in the sweets of your children. Although you may be exposed to these hazards when eating food, they do not necessarily pose a risk to your health. Whether they pose a risk is dependent on the amount you are exposed to when eating the food. The higher the exposure, the higher the risk. The lower the exposure, the lower the risk. If the exposure is very low, the risk may even be negligible, or we can say there is no risk. But what is a low exposure? We cannot generalize low exposure levels without risks for all microbiological or for all chemical hazards. This needs to be defined on a case-by-case -case basis, which is done in the risk assessment process, which will be the topic of our course in week five. In summary, we are surrounded by many hazards that in potential can cause harm. Most of these hazards do not pose a risk because there is no exposure to the hazard or the exposure is very low. The process in which we assess whether a hazard can pose a risk by taking into account the exposure is called risk assessment, covered in week five.